These Americans are about to get Europe. This is the smallest elevator I've ever been in. We got a car! Woo! Get it! <laughs> First travel trailer in Europe, yo! Look how freaking close. That is a bidet. Okay. Doing the laundry, the manual way. We're back in Europe, baby! Oh my God, that's hilarious. Sharon Stone. <laughs> we put our big ass American truck and trailer in storage and rented a tiny little French car to road trip Portugal. We coasted in the Clio, yo. Portugal is a very road trippable country. And while most people only visit Lisbon, Porto, and the Algarve, they often overlook all the small towns and cities in between. We've mapped out an epic two week road trip and we'll be checking out the Venice of Portugal, the biggest wave in the world. Beautiful golden sand beaches. Yeah, yeah, just go. The former capital and historic university town, and a charming but quite sketchy castle town. I don't know how this is even legal for them to allow people to walk on the wall like this without a barrier or anything. This definitely feels like some old medieval. Game of Thrones shit right here. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I'm super jet lagged. <laughs> it's hitting me hard. Portuguese football. Olivia, you gotta get up now. No trip. We're here. We in the Algar. Welcome to the Algar. Yeah. We got our little Clio rental. Ooh, pretty fresh in my little European car. <laughs> ah, and a little backstory. We just wrapped up a week in Lisbon and hitched a ride from Nathan's brother to get a rental car to start our road trip. Must say it's uh, nice and zippy, small, compact, can fit into pretty much any parking space. Welcome to Europe, Tiny Car Central. And the drivers drive very fast. Yeah, they drive Woo! quick, they don't signal, there's no signaling around here, I they don't know. They don't have time for your bullshit. No, and lots of roundabouts, so, you know, we're having fun. <laughs> today's, you know, today's a beach day, you know, first things first, you gotta go hit up a local beach, Praia do Val is where we're going to. And uh, one thing I've noticed is there's a lot of Germans and British people out here. This is the German Coast Guard. A lot of British accents. I'm literally and British. I was warned too. I was warned that it was going to be like that, and it's true. The British and German tourists have taken over the Algarve, and it doesn't that doesn't mean that all the places are touristy, but you got to seek out the more local spots, and that's what we're doing on this trip. We're going to definitely find our, our, our quiet corner on the beach and enjoy it. Enjoy. Look at this. It's just so beautiful. Wow. Freaking beautiful, but I'm not going to lie, the water is freezing. <laughs> it's not even bad. From where we're from in NorCal, this is this is perfect. I prefer this cold temperature versus Florida's warm temperature just because it really cools you off here on a hot summer days. In Florida sometimes you feel like it's like a mini, it's like a jacuzzi sometimes. <laughs> loving the beaches in Portugal. These rocks are so freaking magical. I know that a lot of people vacation here, but you know, this is all very new. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, just go. No, baby. Yes. You can go across right there, straight ahead. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever see? The documentary about the kids, the Thai kids. <laughs> the kids. Trauma. Breaking news right now out of Thailand. We just spent four days in the Algarve and it was amazing. 
Drove around everywhere. Honestly, it's not even that big. So from one end to the other, maybe two and a half hours. Yeah, Lots it's of beautiful. Oh, my God. Beach hop. That's the best way. Just beach hop like crazy and get some sun. Vitamin D. Now we are making our way to this little town called Coimbra. And Coimbra is like kind of in the middle, dead center of Portugal, a little bit north and from there. And we're going to be making two stops before we get there. One in Obidos to see the castle and the other is in Nazare which is the big wave capital of the world. Surfing's not a sport, it's, it's a way of life. <laughs> Surf's a all mate. And if you haven't seen the uh, HBO documentary, 100 Foot Wave, also recommend that. It's incredible. Nazare isn't like any other big wave spot. It's a different animal. Sketch, but cool. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't getting on, a, I ain't getting on no surfboard. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh. No s***, <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, those waves don't go off. They go off in uh, autumn and winter. So we're not going to be really, you know, seeing any massive swells no. or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but, but the town is supposed to be really charming, right? Super charming, super beautiful. I feel like, you know, when most people come to Portugal, they, they see what I describe as the big three. Lisbon, Porto, and the Algarve. Yeah. And while we are seeing those three, we're also going to be making a lot of stops in these small towns along the way. That's so far been really special. I will say one thing that's confusing is gasolina is gas, but gasoleo is diesel. Yeah. So I don't like that they're so similar. And I gotta say, that's a sketchy oh, ass setup. Oh, Class C, Class A, you van. see that? <laughs> oh, van, van. No way. All oh. right, we just saw all the RV types <laughs> and models that you can see in a matter of five seconds. But I will say that trailer setup was sketch, okay? That was, uh, I think it was an old Volkswagen <laughs> pulling a travel trailer. A 25 or 26 footer. <laughs> Thank goodness it's mostly flat. little French Cleo literally gives me no wiggle room. If I start to drift off to one side, it starts beeping at me. If I do a little jerk with the steering wheel, it tells me to have two hands on the wheel, literally. It says, two hands on the wheel, please. And then we get to a toe boo. <laughs> toe boo, so many toes. Cushion, toe boo. going on man this is insane this castle this view this breeze just feeling lucky feeling blessed i don't know how this is even legal for them to allow people to walk on the wall like this without a barrier or anything this definitely feels like some old medieval game of thrones shit right here <laughs> anyways i'm done i'm done i'm, I'm not I'm not digging that right there. Just walk that. Wow, but look at the view over there. How fucking cute, the little street. Oh my God. Wow. It's like a fairy tale place. It's spongy, it's bouncy. Those are good? 
Pretty good. Incredible. Actually, one of my new favorite things. Really? I'm not even kidding. With a little espresso in this. Mm. Very sweet though, but from a texture standpoint, one of the best things I've had so far. Wow. Quejada la rancha. Portugal is pretty cool, y'all. Literally, there are so many things about this place that are just speaking to my heart. First thing, kiosk culture is legit. I love seeing all these little kiosks, restaurants, cafes around and people are just going and grabbing a quick drink for like three euros. That leads me into the second thing. The prices here are so much better than what we're used to back in the state. You can just get so much value here for so little. Um, and that actually leads me to the third thing, which is the quality of the food. <laughs> You know, personally, when I go out in in uh, the United States, not everywhere, but pretty often, I'd say, we're getting like fried foods or foods that are like maybe really, really big portions or not the best quality, you know? I'm not shitting on American food, but if you know, you know. And also just to get a drink, like, you know, maybe you get a house wine for like $9. Here, you can get a, a glass of pretty decent wine for three euros, like insane. Also, the euro right now with the dollar is pretty equivalent, which has also been really helpful for us because when Nathan lived in Italy, what, almost a decade ago, Jesus Christ, um, it was like $1.50 to a euro. Anyways, kiosk culture is awesome. Prices are good, food quality is good, and the Portuguese people are so friendly. And I love that you hear a lot of Portuguese being spoken. They aren't changing it to English just because of the tourists coming around, but if you need them to speak English, they will, and they can. Most of the Portuguese, I feel like their English has been really, really great, more than some other countries we've been to. So stoked that we have a whole month here, but I, I could definitely see us like extending or needing to come back in the very new, near future. We in Nazareth, yo! <laughs> Surf town, big old waves. It's windy today, so I'm hoping. I mean, it's off season for the big waves, but I'm hoping because of the wind, maybe get some some 20 footers, maybe. That would be sick. Probably not. Oh, let me check the GPS. Uh, Where go am straight, I going? straight. No, looks straight. Like I'm going this way. You're really? Right. Yep. Oh shit, I was wrong. Damn GPS. Oh snap, dude, we here. Nazareth. This is it. I recognize this from the documentary. <laughs> I gotta say, look at these. These are not small waves. No. I knew the wind was gonna. Look, look at that. Oh, wow. Dang, I didn't see that. <laughs> I don't wanna. I'm happy you're on land right here. <laughs> the lighthouse, the iconic viewpoint. Man, this is special. This is very special. <laughs> Apologies now for the wind. It is super windy today. And yeah, audio quality is not good. With this kind of wind, even a directional mic won't save us. God damn you, little microphone. Blowing me. One day, we'll have to come back for this. tight so your back's okay. We're at the top floor. <laughs> I think just the Kapua suite. <laughs> this one i never see the places uh when he books them i see them when we show up so i always get a nice little pleasant surprise <gasps> we have a coffee maker dude we have an espresso we have an espresso <laughs> we bought all these coffee packs that were an espresso we didn't have an espresso we had like a different brand so anyways doesn't matter our place is so freaking cute we in coimbra <laughs> and we have a great view from the window yeah lazy I mean, look at that. Wow. To the right, you can see. 
Cheers, salud, chin chin. Morning coffee time is always exciting for me, but especially while we are in Europe because the views here, I always feel like I'm in a movie, you know? When we're in these little Airbnbs, kind of within a community, you just see all these little characters outside of their windows in the morning. This lady across from me over there, she comes out every single morning and she looks over her balcony in her pajamas and then she goes back in. There's a guy who lives in the top left. He's out every morning smoking a cigarette and enjoying his coffee. And then throughout the day, I see him kind of hanging his head out. Yeah, so that's why, you know, love the mornings here. It's kind of like I get a little show and I feel like I'm in their world for just a few days, which sounds super cheesy. Here's a quick visual walking tour of Coimbra. Gondolas. Gondolas. <laughs> We're gonna see how touristy this place is, you know? Yeah. They keep it real out here. <laughs> We've made it to Aveiro. <laughs> I'm now trying ovo mole, which is translates to a soft egg. Yeah. It's basically made with just egg yolk. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. Made with egg yolk and sugar. It was originally made by nuns, I heard, so really? simple ingredients, but you know, it's got, I got, it's got a lot of intrigue. It's got a lot of intrigue. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's like a sweet egg yolk. Really? Yeah, with like a, a sugary edge. It's nice. Thanks. Sugary shell. I'm gonna share that, dude. I'm gonna split this for my what, dog. And then a classic empa chicken empanada. It's empanada. Chicken empanada. It's an em empanada. Empanada, I mean. <laughs> Freezes statue. <laughs>
two cats chilling under our car. One there. Looks like we have to stay forever. What up? <laughs> Porto, here we come! Woo! Granny on a scooter. Granny on a moped. <laughs> Granny on a scooter. Granny on a moped. Get me at that Vespa. We get on that Vespa. Hey. Gotta wear a helmet. Hey. <laughs> So once again, if, if I had known there was no elevator on this one, I was kind of quick to book it. We're on the third floor, no elevator. Look how narrow these stairs are too. Oh my god, are you even get a fifth? Ugh. Okay, bye, I love you. Hey, get your wire up here. Oh, that's good. And a big fiery shout out to our patrons. We light our schnitzel. <laughs> we love y'all.